Hi, I'm Phil, co-founder of Cybersecurity Hub and Attack Forge. Welcome to tutorial two. In this tutorial, I'll cover how to create an attack chain for one of your penetration testing projects. But first, an attack chain is a visual depiction of an attack scenario to help executives, managers, and non-security people better understand how vulnerabilities can be grouped and exploited together to achieve a certain goal such as compromise of a host or domain. Attack chains can help to understand the exact sequence of steps an attacker is conducting and help focus discussion on remediation based on links in the chain rather than the risk rating only. Traditionally, organizations rely on risk ratings alone to determine what issues they should fix and in what priority. However, as penetration testers know, this is not always the best approach especially where there is multiple critical or high issues. How do you know which one to fix first? That's where attack chains can help. In this first example, the attack chain objective is for an attacker to gain control of a core web server to pivot their attack towards the company internal network. As you can see from the attack flow, it's an external attacker, i.e. they're coming in from the internet and they've discovered the company's application and self-registered an account. The attacker then logs into the application and discovers that there's file upload functionality. During this penetration test, it was discovered that you can upload any file to the upload avatar functionality. The attacker leverages this to upload a shell. Also during the penetration test, it was discovered that you can conduct path traversal to enumerate server directory to identify where uploaded files are stored. Combining these two issues, it's possible to gain a shell on the, on the web server and then start attacking the company network from the inside. Here are a few more examples of attack chains. In the first example, an attacker is exploiting LLMNR to capture domain hashes and subject these to a password cracking attack. In the next example, an attacker is gaining access to a production database due to weak password policy. You get the idea. Building an attack chain is easy. As I'll show you, it only takes a matter of minutes using the attack chain builder. First, we create an attacker. We can select an external or an internal attacker. We can then select actions or vulnerabilities or combinations of the two until a flag is captured. We can then select what issue was exploited at what part in the chain. Let's add another vulnerability. As you can see, we've just quickly created an attack chain. So try building an attack chain yourself. It's easy to build one, even if you have only one issue. A good example you can try is creating an attack chain for cross-site request forgery, or a cross-site scripting attack to steal another user session token. Thanks for listening.